Let's contemplate what I hope is not a bin fire on the stock market because it represents your superannuation. Elio D'Amato joins you from Stockopedia. Elio, how are things looking today? Well, Raf, the All Ordinaries is actually up this morning about 0.2%. Uh, the big news uh, from a financial perspective actually came yesterday after we went off the air when the Chinese government, <clears throat> uh, they announced the fiscal stimulus plan to help with the appearance of basically what would meet its 5% GDP growth goal. Uh, basically, it's told the central or its overall banks to, that it can hold less cash on hand. Uh, and it's also enforced a rate cut over there. And all of that occurred on the same day. And this was combined with some stimuli, which saw the market over there rise in response. Um, ours did yesterday and today. We're continuing to do the same, uh, particularly the big miners, BHP, Rio and Fortescue, uh, all having good days. Uh, more on the latter in a moment. Uh, domestically and we'll be looking at that inflation number due out in about an hour. Uh, well, unlikely to move the dial, as the RBA told us, that they will ignore the result. Uh, basically, the market won't. Uh, so we wait with bated breath. Uh, back to commodities and the announcement of Chinese stimulus was good for everyone, with all metals and oil uh, leaping overnight. And yesterday, uh, the Aussie dollar uh, even went on a bit of a gallop, now at 69 US cents. Um, for the record, our worst sector today is... Uh, is financials as the larger sector probably loses a bit to that Chinese free money. Uh, in other corporate news, we heard from Premier Investments who told investors that for the full year, uh, sales declined slightly, which pretty much was to be expected. But resilience in its brands, including Peter Alexander, saw it actually lift its full year dividend to 70 cents. Uh, though it did say that uh, it remains committed to the uh, demerger of Peter Alexander and Smiggle. It has to be delayed by a little bit as it sorts out what's happening with Maya first. Uh, investors don't like that the stock down around 8% at the moment. Uh, Coden, uh, it basically added to its tactical uh, communication business by acquiring acquiring military comms business CAGWorks for what it sees as a calendar year 2025 multiple of 3.1 to 4.2 times earnings uh, and it will be funded through existing debt agreements. Uh, the stock is uh, actually currently up about 1.2% on that news. Uh, Fortescue, the world's fourth largest iron ore miner, uh, they'll pay $2.8 billion to replace two-thirds of its fleet of haulage trucks and equipment in WA with electric versions uh, as it seeks to cut diesel consumption and meet ambitious emissions reduction targets. Uh, the stock's up 3.1% in response. And finally, Sigma Pharmaceuticals told investors that it's half year profit result that it expects a decision from the ACCC on the reverse takeover of Chemist Warehouse Group now due on the 24th of October, which is actually a delay to what they previously said. Uh, this is going to be important, though, because uh, basically their growth is anemic, whereas the growth of CW Group is actually doing quite well. Uh, the stock is down around 4% in response to the delay. And that was all in our market open, Raf. Thank you very much, Elio D'Amato there from Stockopedia.